Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a Discourse by St. Andrew of Crete. Bishop, the cross is Christ's glory and triumph. We are celebrating the Feast of the Cross, which drove away darkness and brought in the light. As we keep this feast, we are lifted up with the crucified Christ, leaving behind us earth and sin, so that we may gain the things above. So great and outstanding a possession is the cross that he who wins it has won a treasure. Rightly could I call this treasure the fairest of all fair things and the costliest. In fact, as well as in name. For on it, and through it, and for its sake, the riches of salvation that had been lost were restored to us. Had there been no cross, Christ could not have been crucified. Had there been no cross, life itself could not have been nailed to the tree. And, if life had not been nailed to it, there would be no streams of immortality pouring from Christ's side. Blood and water for the world's cleansing. The legal bond of our sin would not be cancelled. We should not have attained our freedom. We should not have enjoyed the fruit of the tree of life, and the gates of paradise would not stand open. Had there been no cross, death would not have been trodden underfoot nor hell despoiled. Therefore, the cross is something wonderfully great and honorable. It is great because through the cross the many noble acts of Christ found their consummation. Very many indeed for both his miracles and his sufferings were fully rewarded with victory. The cross is honorable because it is both the sign of God's suffering and the trophy of his victory. It stands for his suffering because on it he freely suffered unto death. But it is also his trophy because 
it was the means by which the devil was wounded and death conquered. The barred gates of hell were smashed and the cross became the one common salvation of the whole world. The cross is called Christ's glory. It is saluted as His triumph. We recognize it as the cup He longed to drink and the climax of the sufferings He endured for our sake. As to the cross being Christ's glory, listen to His words. Now is the Son of Man glorified, and in Him God is glorified, and God will glorify Him at once. And again, Father, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world came to be. And once more, Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. Here he speaks of the glory that would accrue to him through the cross. And if you would understand that the cross is Christ's triumph, hear what he himself also said. When I am lifted up, then I will draw all men to myself. Now you can see that the cross is Christ's glory and triumph. From the desert, with Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.